Hi, my name is Oyun Orca of VTuber Tries to Draw, and for today, we're trying out the brand new XP Pen Artist Ultra 16. This is a brand new 16 inch OLED touchscreen drawing tablet with incredible color, pressure sensitivity, and even comes with a shortcut remote and multiple pens. I'll be trying out and reviewing this tablet today, but first, let's get started with the unboxing. So, upon opening up the box, you'll see the large 16 inch XP Pen drawing tablet enclosed in this almost fabric like sleeve. Underneath the tablet, you'll also get the color calibration report as well. Pulling out the tablet, the tablet itself seems very light, and we'll try it out more later, so let's put that aside for now. After removing the paper separator, underneath, you'll find a lot of accessories here. Let's first start out with this box here. Inside this box, you'll have all the wires that you need in order to connect this tablet to your PC or laptop. It includes two USB-C cables, as well as the 3-in-1 cable for if your PC or laptop doesn't support DisplayPort with USB-C and needs an HDMI port. Underneath that, there's also a smaller box inside which includes the warranty card, a drawing glove, the quick start guide, as well as a microfiber cloth. Let's set that aside for now. Trying on the drawing glove, the drawing glove itself is pretty good quality. There's a little bit of extra padding on the bottom of this glove to make it extra comfortable as you're drawing with it. And as for the microfiber cloth, it's actually surprisingly very good quality. It's very thick and will make it much easier to wipe out any fingerprint marks on your tablet screen. Next, let's open up the pen case. Opening up the pen case, you'll see that it actually comes with two different pens. There's the main pen, a larger one, which is more similar to typical drawing tablet pens. It also has an eraser on the back and two different buttons on the side. The other pen is a thinner and slimmer one. This one seems more reminiscent of an iPad pencil and you can also replace the buttons with this little plastic case on the side by just removing that and that way you get the sleek surface. It also includes several extra nibs, including felt nibs if you prefer that, a place to store your pen to prop it upright, and also this little metal divot here in order to switch out the pen nibs. Putting that aside for now, next let's move into the XP Pen Wireless Shortcut Remote. If you use the stickers that we saw earlier in the earlier package, you'll be able to assign different values to each of the buttons on the quick keys and if you ever forget, you can use the stickers that are included in order to mark what shortcut each button is used for. And finally, we have the power blocks and the tablet stand. I'm a bit surprised that the tablet stand isn't built into the tablet itself, but in order to install this tablet stand onto the back of the tablet, you can lay flat your tablet down on a flat surface, unpeel this little plastic protective layer in order to reveal the sticky layer underneath, and firmly press that against the back of your tablet. There's also markers on the back of the tablet to indicate where this should be pressed on. Now that we've got the tablet all installed and set up, let's also go ahead and download the drivers. You can download XP Pen drivers on their website right here by going under Support, Driver, and then searching for the product that you own. You can easily find the drivers for your system, download that, and then also download the manual and quick guide if you ever lose it. Under the XP Pen driver, you can easily set shortcuts to your shortcut keys and map them so that it functions for your own use. Here, I went ahead and set it to some shortcuts that I use frequently, including undo, redo, new layer, group into a folder, move around, and remove layers. But of course, you can set it to your own preferences. With the shortcut remote, I can easily draw, make changes to the brush size, undo and redo, scroll in and scroll out, without ever having to use my keyboard shortcuts. However, I am quite used to keyboard shortcuts already, so probably in the demo, I'll use a mix of both keyboard shortcuts and the shortcut remote. Next, once we have the tablet all connected, let's go ahead and try it out. Turning on the tablet, there's a variety of different color profiles you can use, but I'm going to go ahead and just stick with sRGB. There's also Adobe RGB and other color profiles for you to play around with here too. Something pretty important to note about the monitor here is that if you use your drawing tablet as a secondary monitor and are finding that the touchscreen on your tablet seems to not work, at least on Windows, you'll need to go into your control panel, go under hardware and sound, scroll down to tablet PC settings, and then under display, configure your pen and touch displays, click setup, and then it'll bring up a pop-up where you can just tap to indicate on the device that is touchscreen. So once you touch your tablet, now your tablet will be touchscreen. One thing I do want to note about this tablet is that it seems to be a Windows issue, but it seems like if you set your drawing tablet as the primary display monitor, then the touchscreen functions seem to work a little bit better, at least when zooming in or out. When it's set as a secondary monitor, it seems that the zoom in and out function is a little bit less responsive, but definitely not a deal breaker. Either way, just something to keep in mind. Next, let's move into the display and pen testing. For both of the pens, 
Each of these pens have 16,384 levels of pressure sensitivity, so both of these pens are extremely sensitive. One thing that I found really interesting about these brushes is that you can set these brushes to function individually, so essentially it's like having two different pens for your tablet, both functionally and literally. Under the pen settings, you can adjust it so that, for example, one of the pens work more like a soft brush and the other pen functions more as a firm pencil. This way, if you wanted to, you could for example use the thinner brush as a lining brush and then physically switch over to the larger pen as a coloring brush without having to go in and switch your settings manually. As for testing the pen pressure itself, the pen pressure is extremely good, very sensitive, and you can also adjust a lot of the settings to your own needs. For some background, I've actually used an XP pen drawing tablet in the past, back when I was in college. When using their older models, I remember that one of the qualms I had was that there was a little bit of a pen lag when I tried to draw. However, with their newest model here, it's amazing how much they've improved their technology. There's practically no visible parallax and no noticeable pen lag either. The drawing experience is so much more smoother and definitely at the professional level. Now that we've finished testing the tablet, let's go ahead and draw our illustration. As I do my illustration demo, I'll also go ahead and talk through my pros and cons. So firstly, I think the most major pro is the fact that this is a 4K OLED touchscreen. The touchscreen is calibrated so that common shortcuts that you use with fingers, like two fingers for undo and three fingers for redo, similar to Apple or Android drawing tablet programs, is also usable on this device. Of course, you can also easily rotate, pan, and zoom around with just your two fingers. This makes the drawing process a lot easier. And for any other shortcuts, you can also map it to the shortcut remote, which is also included in the box. The inclusion of both of the pens was super nice, and while I did end up primarily using the larger pen since I'm used to this sort of size, I think it's definitely really useful to have two pens, depending on what your personal preference is, as I imagine some people might be coming over from a standalone drawing tablet, such as an Apple or Android device, and moving over to a display tablet connected to a PC or laptop, will be so much easier with these settings and with the slimmer pen. Going back to the topic of the display, I found the display really clear and crisp and a definite noticeable upgrade from my prior tablet, which had a resolution of 1920 by 1080 pixels. Also, because the colors are Kalman verified, this essentially means that the colors on the screen are going to be extremely accurate, so I can trust what I see on the screen without having to second guess what I'm actually seeing or if it'll appear very different on my regular monitor. Overall, the build quality of this tablet is extremely good. It's extremely thin and surprisingly lightweight considering the size and quality of this device. It doesn't feel like a cheap product at all and feels very well made and sturdy. However, one thing I will note is that because the tablet stand is stuck on and not built into the tablet itself, I did have some issues with it, which brings us into our first major con, which is the tablet stand. Quite frankly, I didn't really enjoy the tablet stand and I'd recommend that you try buying an additional tablet stand, whether from XP Pen or a different brand. I'm unsure if this is just with my tablet, as one of the sticky pieces on the back doesn't feel as sticky as on the other side, so if you get this tablet, maybe you'll have better luck than me, or you can try just buying a separate tablet stand. I didn't get around to buying the XP Pen stand, but for the sake of this review, I just ended up stacking some books behind my tablet, just because this stand kept on slipping off while I was drawing. So overall, to summarize my pros and cons, this tablet has amazing colors. Both of the pens are incredibly sensitive and really easy to customize settings with. All aspects of this tablet are extremely well designed. The tablet has incredible pressure sensitivity and an amazing 4K super crisp screen. It is also USB-C connection compatible. So if your USB-C port on your device supports DisplayPort, you'll only need a USB-C connection in order to connect the drawing tablet to your PC and is overall very reasonably priced, especially considering the specs. 4K and touchscreen definitely doesn't come cheap on this size of a tablet, so it's amazing that they can pack this much value into this price point. But for my only con, once again, I just didn't really love the tablet stand and would recommend that if you are to buy this tablet, to go ahead and also add their other tablet stand to your cart or check out a different tablet stand. Overall, the XP Pen Artist Ultra 16 is a fantastic higher-end tablet for artists who want a ton of amazing features like 4K, touchscreen, and 16,000 levels of pressure sensitivity at a great size and at a really competitive price given all its specs. And here's the final illustration we drew today too. And that's it. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this video helpful. Also, if you're interested in purchasing this tablet, links to buy this tablet are in the description down below and in the pinned comment. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye!